us on the breaking news for us. Brian? Sandra, yeah, we have new video out of the Russian parliament, which has voted unanimously 401 to 0 to enact a brand new law that makes it punishable by up to 3 to 15 years in prison for spreading any fake information about the military war that is happening in Ukraine. This is a major step forward for major escalation by Russian authorities there and Vladimir Putin to go after uh, dissent there in the country. At the same time, Reuters is now reporting, Sandra, that Russia has blocked Facebook inside of Russia. This is coming from Russia's communications agency, which says they have cited 26 cases of what they call discrimination against Russian media and information resources by Facebook since October of 2020. Again, this also comes at the same time that we have seen the top independent radio station and top independent television station in Russia have ceased operations after receiving a slew of threats from Russian authorities. So at you know, we've been talking about whether or not the pressure within Russia would be enough to force Putin's hand here, but he is clamping down on dissension in that country, going after independent media, now blocking Facebook, and now making it punishable by up to 15 years in prison for anyone who spreads what they deem as fake information of this war, which they call in Russia a special military operation. How does this end? Somebody in Russia has to step up to the plate. Is there Brutus in Russia? Is there a more successful Colonel Stoppenberg in the <coughs> Russian military? The only way this sh ends, my friend, is for somebody in Russia to take this guy out. You would be doing your country a great service and the world a great service. Uh of us that aren't Ukrainians. I think the world, quite frankly, Kira, is surprised by the will of the Ukrainian people to stand up and fight. Are you? Well, I'm not surprised. I, uh, we have been fighting uh, Putin for the last eight years, and we had three revolutions in our country when we did not agree with what was going on with uh, the direction of where we're moving in. But right now, it's a critical time because we know that we not only fight for Ukraine, we fight for this new world order. Уважаемые друзья, президент Беларуси просил встретить вас, приветствовать и обеспечить максимально вашу работу. So we are looking at ways to, um, and I said yesterday, I believe, that we are looking at ways to reduce uh, the import of Russian oil while also making sure um, that we are maintaining the global supply needs out there. Uh, I don't have anything to predict in terms of what that will look like.